Good morning guys. I know it's been a while since I did a video and this winter while well, I've been cooped up by the bad weather I decided to build a kind of a semi copy of Wilfley's original shaker table drive unit and this is what I came up with you can see the toggle arms and as this rotates that frame moves back and forth you'll see that frame moving back and forth and it gives you a very smooth quiet motion but you get differential speed it pulls back faster than it pushes forward on this end where it would connect to the table And I did the double toggle setup like Wolfley did. And the benefit of that is that by raising this pivot block right here, you can change the stroke length while the unit is running. Now I don't have, I didn't put a handle on this yet. I've still got to do that. But if you look as I turn this, you'll see that block raising up. And as it raises, that shortens the stroke length. Now if you look here, you'll see that short that stroke length is only about a quarter of an inch. But when it's all the way down, clear down at the bottom, so that block is down all the way, now you can see that stroke length is out there close to, it's over 5 eighths of an inch. So, let's turn it on and get it running. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, here we are with it running. This is running right now at about 238 strokes per minute. You can see how quiet it is. Almost the only noise you hear is the motor running. And speaking of the motor, let's go over here and look at the variable speed pulley I built. And willfully use this on one of their tables that they sold commercially, and maybe more than one. They're not really difficult to build. You have a, the outside flange slides pushed by the spring, and down here I have a crank, and the motor is mounted on these half-inch dowels that allow the motor platform to slide back and forth. So as I as I crank this this way and the motor moves in towards the drive unit, you'll notice that the belt's moving up towards the outside of the pulley and changing the reduction ratio. So now I'm running at about 344 pulses per minute. So that allows you on the fly to adjust the speed and with the toggle pivot you can adjust the pulse length, the stroke length. So you'll watch as I'm cranking that up, you'll see that stroke length get shorter and shorter. until pretty soon you're down to less than a quarter of an inch. And then as you go back down with that pivot point, that stroke length gets longer again. It's really a pretty slick design that Wilfley came up with. Like most good designs, it's relatively simple 
If you understand geometry, you can understand why you have a differential motion. And by hooking this end to the table, you can fasten it tight and run with no bump, or you can leave a little gap in there between the nut and the bracket, and that'll allow you to have a bump in the motion. So you can pretty easily have stroke length, speed, and bump or no bump with a few simple adjustments. Here I'm going to slow it back down again. Watch that belt slide in. And we're slowing it down. Now we've slowed it down to about 238 again. Generally the sweet spot's between 250 and 375, so this will give me plenty of room to once I get it mounted on the table to adjust everything and generally really fine gold you want to have a short stroke length and a high speed but every ore material kind of you need to do a little adjusting and testing to get the best concentration so that's about it I'm going to have plans available for this. This is not a simple build. You've got to have some machining skills and welding and like that. But if you have access to a buddy that can do some of that stuff, that has a lathe and a mill and can do some of the work, you can build this thing in a couple of weeks. I'll see you later.